Okay, now let's check and see. okay, that's a leftover from the last one. Well, maybe I should just use that. Um, and this one uh, will cover a subquery and common table expression. So, what is a subquery? This is one statement. Um, but then, whenever you have a lot of um, a lot of all these joins, it, it can get kind of confusing sometimes when you have a lot of these going like this and that, and I mean, it just gets really confusing after a while, uh, especially if you're reusing them. Um, <clears throat> and in that case, sometimes it's easier to just um, make what's called a subquery, uh, which is um, basically adding another query inside of a query so let's just demonstrate so that you can look at it and I'm just gonna modify this to make it a subquery and uh, let's see how can I modify this <laughs> okay I'm just gonna put one right here uh, In. And put that in as well from <coughs> Yeah. <coughs> that should work. We'll see. Yeah, it basically does the same thing. So this what it's doing is this is a actually a standalone alone query in a query. Then that's actually joined to the outside query. So this inner portion is called a subquery. Uh, I think I can just run this independently right here. So if you run it independently, uh, what it's doing is just pulling from that uh, person phone table. Then use that uh, result uh, as a table to join that against that this uh, person table. That's what I'm doing. And it's alias does uh, person phone again, and everything else is the same. So that's basically how subquery works. And let's say you want to reuse this a lot. Uh, sometimes it can get nasty uh, if you have um, really big ones in here, um, uh, big subqueries and things like that. So, and if you want to reuse the exact same thing, you can actually move this off to the top. And name it something else. Um, call it bandwidth as I think that will do. And then left join just. It's not liking something. Okay. So it worked. <clears throat> so all I did uh, before we had a subquery over here, basically the same as this, but then I just moved it off. Uh, this is called common table expression. This can be re. Uh, let me get rid of that. This can be reused a bunch of times. So let's say you want to <laughs> add it again. And left join. Left join. Yeah, I shouldn't be as how's that? I just aliased it again. <clears throat> so just to pull it differently and hit F five. So now what it's doing okay, that was a bad one. 
Okay, so what I did is move this, I uh, moved the subquery off to the top, then pulled it twice. Ones for phone number type one and the ones for um for phone number type three. And as you can see in the result, um no, oh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah. I didn't join it right. Okay, so as you can see, this is from um, this portion is these two columns are coming from this join, and these two columns are coming from this join. And what it's doing is uh, this column is only pulling these two columns are pulling uh, phone number type one, and these columns are only pulling uh, uh, phone number type three. So that's what it's doing, and that's basically how a table expression CTE works. So thank you for watching.